I'm not sure personally how many more years I'll be able to be here. <coughs> At my age, travel becomes difficult. And I have also some family responsibilities. It's a difficult thing to get away with all the different complex arrangements. So I'm hoping that the gatherings will continue for as long as anyone is interested in doing it. I'm just so inviting whoever is interested and, and, and can to maybe take a little more uh, responsibility for doing it. I know and I want to acknowledge that Nicholas uh, Fogach uh, and, and Joel and Henry and other and others have in the past while uh, kept the flame burning. Sometimes there's only five or six people, but there's always been some kind of gap. While I'm in the process of giving thanks, I would like to recognize and remember someone I think nearly everyone here remembers, and that's Wayne Scott. Wayne is no longer with us. He's been three or four years in the since he died. Uh, but he was, he was the conscience of this whole process uh, in many ways. And he was a motivator for me uh, to continue pressing on. Uh, I know he said that I was a motivator for him, and that's probably a fair assessment, being motivated for each other. Because Wayne gone, uh, it's been a little harder to uh, push myself to do what, what has to be done. Uh, Joe has certainly been uh, with me uh, throughout the years, and will be so in the future, I'm sure. But anyhow, that, thanks to Wayne and Beyond that, I don't have much to say. Uh, we all have our personal reasons for being here. Some people are, are here because of their uh, commitment to RC personally, having worked with them and their family and friends. And uh, that may be the primary motivation for their being here. Others are, are here because they feel that justice was not done in the situation. The old saying that comes up from time to time, justice must be seen to be done, uh, is, uh, I think, relevant here. The problem, of course, is that our, or the general population's ability to see the justice that we've done has been clouded by the fact that a special prosecutor for three quarters of an hour and the judge allowed the defense uh, only another 10 or 15 minutes to put the story that was accepted by most people as, uh, the, uh, as uh, the truth, the uh, justice being seen to be done. Uh, over the years we've discovered that a lot of that information that was presented uh, by the special prosecutor was outright false were certainly misleading and that it was manipulated uh, in ways that amount to, in, in the uh, way that they term cherry picking uh, in, in the legal sense, tunnel, tunnel vision. Uh, the only story that the uh, prosecutors appear to have considered, they say otherwise, but their behavior and what they said would indicate that they never gave any serious consideration to uh, the story other than the narrative that Mr. Bryan personally think It wasn't a question of their going out and investigating and discovering uh, a narrative that suited Mr. Bryan's uh, interests. Mr. Bryan was given an opportunity to tell his story to the prosecution. The prosecution accepted that story without, I hope, really challenging it. They simply went along with it. And that uh, is where I see them that give this case, which is just as It's It's not unusual. As a matter of fact, I think it's probably standard practice for defense lawyers to try the victim rather than the person who's on trial. You expect that. The, what you don't expect is for the prosecution to accept the defense's argument uh, 
documentary film people here who are uh, photographing and recording what I'm saying right now uh, on spec that they'll be able to put together a proposal to broadcasters here or in the US or in the UK or wherever uh, to put together a, a full-length documentary or a documentary series so uh, there's no guarantee that it's going to happen but we're hoping that it will, and I think certainly the, the, the film production company that films is uh, dedicated to uh, have the story told, not just from our point of view. They will give the other people, including Mr. Bryan, an opportunity to tell their side of the story, but they will hear our side of the story, which is what the prosecutor is did not do. Uh, there are people here that uh, were very instrumental in, in the understanding that I developed. Uh, Ms. Gloria uh, was on scene within reaching distance of touching the car during the initial encounter at the cross uh, So she knows better than anybody uh, from an outside perspective at the crossroad. And what Claudia says happened is absolutely contradictory to what Mr. Bryant said happened and what Mr. Peck taking his lead from Mr. Bryant said happened. Uh, so uh, also here is uh, Christy Lee, the producer of the podcast series that many of you have heard. And I think it uh, recognized that it was uh, a pretty fair representation of our perspective in our concerns and our point of view. And so uh, I certainly want to thank Victoria. Uh, and I should say about Victoria, I know about Victoria because she made an effort, made an effort to contact me. I didn't know she existed. Uh, I wouldn't have known she existed from anything that Mr. Peck said when he gave the statement before. Uh, but she found me out one way or another and has been consistently supported ever since. And so uh, I certainly owe thanks to, uh, to Victoria and to many others, including all of you who are here. We all in various ways kept the candle burning. Justice is served, that is, that the, the, the side of story, the side of the story that uh, has not to do, gets to it, or the other to go away, uh, which is the intention, uh, that was obviously the intention of uh, the special prosecutors and others. They told a, a, a story that in their view, would allow this, the, the whole incident to fade into the background. And in fact, it did. And a lot of stuff happened uh, in, in the industry. Many, many dramatic things have happened in the industry that have, have pushed uh, my son's story or Mr. Bryant's story off the front pages and even off the front back pages. have been, unfortunately in this case, uh, Christy uh, picked up on a story with the podcast series. Uh, the podcast series was heard by the documentary uh, thought maybe there is a story there that's looking for. And that's how the 
they and the help them. You know, joining us today. I welcome them. I welcome you. Thank you all for coming. Thank you all.